Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm delighted to be able to make a few comments on cases of restructuring in the car industry. And I think we have to consider, first of all, the impact on the industry itself, on the economies in the various member states. But equally, I think we need to look at the social impact on all of this, uh, the impact on workers, the impact on their families and on their own communities. There's no doubt that this situation has been looming for a long time with declining domestic demand and, of course, overcapacity in the industry. But it certainly is questionable if adequate measures have been taken by member states to anticipate the structural change that is now taking place in Europe. And I certainly um, look forward to the European uh, Commission's proposals in this area, and I would welcome the setting up of an Automotive Skills Council and the social dialogue as outlined by Commissioner Andor. However, I suppose I'm particularly concerned with the social impact. The current recession in the EU, coupled with the austerity measures and indeed the slow growth globally, uh, paints a pretty dismal picture for many of the workers who will be made redundant. And I believe that in this context we need to ensure a European response to the issue. And we do have a number of suitable instruments at our disposal, including one mentioned by the Commissioner himself, the European Globalisation Adjustment Fund. This fund was put in place to deal with large-scale redundancies due to globalisation, and in my view, it could be a significant European response to the situation. The EGF can support member states in retraining and upskilling workers, and indeed it can ex assist workers in setting up their own businesses or in accessing opportunities to change their career path. The uh, EGF is important for all member states. Indeed, 21 member states have already accessed the EGF, but it's particularly important for those member states who are cutting back on expenditure and investment at this point in time because it can give real assistance and help in funding the retraining and the upskilling of the redundant workers. Right now, we have a blocking minority in Council on the EGF. Yet, I believe as an instrument, it would be of real assistance in this situation. And I'm once again calling on member states to review their opposition to this fund and look at the fund as another policy tool available to their redundant workers. It won't solve all their problems, but it can be an important part of the policy mix. And finally, I want to say I agree with Mr. Bellet. We need a coherent industrial policy in regard to location of industry and to the harmonisation of social standards.